What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I'm Brando. And I'm Clint. And this is Brewheads. You're yeah, damn right. right. And today we got uh, one from Thimble Island. Yup. Mm-hmm. We're liking that. We like them. Yeah, we do like Thimble Island a lot. Uh, this one is Ghost Island. Nice. Ghost Island Double India Pale Ale. Um, this was first done in bottles. Um, I've only had this in bottles. Yeah, so, so have I. I don't know if the can's going to be any different. I'm expecting it just to be kick ass like I liked it before. Um, so Ghost Island Double India Pale Ale, Thimble Island Brewing Company. Uh, first brewed in early 2014 as part of our Uncharted series of limited edition and experimental beers. Glad you put it out yep. instead of just kept it as experimental. Ghost Island Double IPA quickly became one of our most popular beers, and rightfully so. Ghost Island Double IPA is bold and complex. Is Bold and complex India Pale Ale with an intense crispness and smooth finish. We dry hop it with citra. Love that citra. We love that citra. To add vibrant grapefruit and citrus aromas and flavors creating a dynamic and refreshing brew. Quality craft, baby. Uh, This bad boy comes in at 8% horsepower or alcohol by volume. Yep. Um, I don't know what the IBUs no, are. No, I don't think they list IBUs no, on there. But if they do, we're going to post them. If not, IBUs. it's okay. Um, so, cool can. Yeah, love the can. Love this can. It's like, I saved it. It's on my desk. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty awesome. We popping. Crack it! Crack it! <sighs> Alright, color. Color. Got a little slight haze. Nice golden haze. Yep. Medium. Medium? We're going medium, with medium? Medium haze. Alright, maybe it's just your light. Well, that's, that's why I'm trying to hold it up for yeah. a couple, because it's like... Yeah, we got, I yeah, we I got a couple lights. I wouldn't say it's a couple. I wouldn't say it's like straight golden. But no, it's got like a little yeah, golden. I yes. feel like medium golden. Yeah. It's a uh, nice head on it. The smell is... It's got a good smell. Citra, yeah, that's citra. and hoppy. <sighs> All right. Are we ready? Let's give it a sip. Sip it. Here we go. Yeah, start that's, to finish. That's a hop start forward to beer. Yep, that's hop. not even hop forward. That's hop. That's hop all. Yeah, hop <laughs> all the way. Hop all. Punch. Yeah, I wouldn't that's, say it's a hop punch. No, no. Well, you're not gagging, so I guess it's yeah. not. No, it's um, but very hop forward. And I will say, when I, when I was reading this, I, when it's when I saw the grapefruit, yeah, I was just like, oh. Well, it's dry hop, so we were adding aroma. Yeah. So, you get that nice. That's good. That's yeah. good. It smells like a New England IPA. So with the grapefruit, I was worried about how it was going to taste mm-hmm. and if it was going to be as acidic. It, it's not really no, acidic. No, it's pretty smooth. Um, I actually really don't get much grapefruit flavor. No. It's, it, it's like a it's like a series of citrus flavors to it. Yep. <clears> or <throat> that's not bad. No. No. Nice hop, hop forward flavor to it. Um, the smell... And the smell is, will definitely throw you for a loop yep. because you're expecting that almost a fruity taste, but it's just the fruit is like under yeah undertone. So you get you get a nice hoppy flavor to it, nice floral hop flavor. Yeah, to it. there we go, floral. I like that. I like this flavor. This is good. Piney. No, yeah, I've piney. always liked the. I've always liked this go one. Silent. This one's pretty good. For me, this is a uh, 3-5. Eh, 3-2-5. Three, 3-2-5. Two, five. Three, two, five. Ooh, went down. Yeah. Went down. I mean, I, I like it. It's not that it's bad. It's actually a very good tasting beer. Mm. Is this the beer that I would gravitate to for Thimble Island? No. It's a, it's a simple beer. I mean, it is there's, a simple there's no beer. complex. They, they, have some, they have some other beers that I would go to first before this one. So that's why it's more of a three two five for me than it is a three five. But would you, I mean, would you say entry level craft beer starter? Oh, I wouldn't. No, no. I think if you were more entry, complex for them. Yeah. I think if you were entry level, th- this is kind of the thing where if your palate's not ready for that hop forwardness, right. this is yeah. the kind of beer that would make you be like, uh, craft beer crap. It just I don't, I don't like think. Hops. Yeah. I don't think I would have been able to handle this kind of hop first starting. 
Yeah, I, you know what? I think a year ago you would have gagged on this. Yeah, probably. Yep. I think uh, I definitely notice more and more a um, an appreciation for it. Yeah. The longer I do this for. I'm gonna go with a three five. I like it. Um, I really do like it. If I'm out anywhere and they have this, like flatbread in Canton, um, I'm definitely getting this with their uh, their pizza. It's really good. Um, I feel it accentuates food as well. It does a really good job of being hot forward but not aggressive. Um, I agree with that. I like it. It's a very well done. I'm glad you uh, didn't stop with the experimental stage. I'm glad you have it in the 16 ounce cans and uh, keep doing what you're doing. I like it. What do you got? Uh, I'm gonna go three and a half. It's uh, it's all right. Um, not like I said. It, it, to me, it's I don't know. It's it's there's Thimble, like you said, Thimble Island. There's other things that for me are go to. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> had I tried this originally, you know, before I tried like chocolate, uh, Choco Bach or mm -hmm. whatever, um, you know, a couple other things we've had from them, I still would have enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I just, you know, they put out other things that I'd rather go to, but still a phenomenal beer. Um, to me, it is kind of a simple beer. There's nothing, there's nothing mm -hmm. too crazy. It's not a complex mm -mm. There's the the flavor. It's not a crazy. It's not gonna make you. Th it's not gonna take you. A, you're not gonna take a sip and go, "Damn, what is this?" Um, Would you go with solid? This is a it's solid, a solid double beer. IPA. There yeah, you go. solid. This is when you're drinking a double IPA. This is pretty much what you would expect to have. So three five for me. All right. So that's our thoughts on Thimble Island's uh, Ghost Island. There you go. Ghost Island Dipper, baby. I kind of, you know what? I'd like to try some chocolate with this. I don't know why. I feel like this would go good with chocolate. I like that bitterness. Yeah. I think I would prefer with pizza. It does go good with pizza. Or flat, yeah, the flatbread pizza was good. I think I would good. prefer with pizza. Because I had it with some very spicy pepperoni. Yeah. And this was able to knock it down. Make the, even, just make the pepperoni more tolerable in my pizza. Spicy pepperoni to use, like, right with pepperoni. Ah, oh, shut up. You're being a poop. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check us out on all our social medias. The um, books, the grams, the yeah. tweets, the twits, the twats. Edit that part out. Um, no, that's staying. That's and staying. If, you, uh, <laughs> if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And uh, we put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Because of you. Thank yep. you. Stay we'll check wobbly. You, check you on the next one.